Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and you're watching Sija video. Today we will make this kind of health bar, uh, circular shape. And we have all the control on size and uh, color and intensity, everything we can control. So let's start this tutorial. Hi, so let's start this. So I will right click, make a material M health. This is health bar, but this is like a circle, hemi circle or full circle, whatever you want. So basically uh, to make a circle, we can do lots of things, but we need a half circle with uh, round corners. So for that, I'll take generate rectangle, connect this here. Let's make this unlit. Okay. And then for the dimensions, I will use maybe 0 0.7, 0 0.05. And for these corners, I will use two vector. I will use 0 0.05. So this is the perfect for this type of bar. Now we have to make it a circle, a ring. So what I'll do, because it has this UVs, so I'll use vector to radial. Vector to radial. And I'll directly connect it here. It will make it circle, but we, we want a... Uh, uh, what are you say the size of this and let's make some parameters so this is I will convert it corner radius that I think we need to reduce 0 0.03 okay then to change the the size of this the ring uh, to cut it half you can just multiply it to make the tile so if this is two but because I'm multiplying X and Y, so it's thickness also going. So what I'll do, I'll take the shift C, shift C, two times mask. So I will separate the channels. So this is my green, red, sorry, and this is my green. Then I'll take the append vector, and this will go here. But this will go with a tile parameter. And let's call this uh, cut. And by default, it's work. So we have now two parameters. Let me save and check how it looks. So that click, make instance. And we have this. This corners, point zero three, And then we have this. Looks cool. But what I want, when this is smaller like this, so corner should be 0 0.05 or maybe let me check how much corner. Or maybe 0 0.03 is better. And then we can do this thing. Uh, I will just uh, log these values from like seven to uh, maybe this much, 0.95. So I'll go here and I'll put 7.5. Okay, so you have this. You can remap the values if you want, 0 to 1 if you want. So let's say you take remap and you just connect this here. And let's say you don't have these all things. Okay. Although I need that because if I'm doing it you know, like five and seven. So basically you can just put inner and output uh, values to make it uh, zero to one. Okay, let it be for now. So we have this and let's say you want, uh, I want actually sharpness. So I will make a parameter for this. Default is 20, so I'll put 20. Okay, let's save this. So now, we can reduce the sharpness, make it blurry. Now we want uh, edges from it and let me also make the size little fatty maybe 0.1 yeah so now what I want I want 
uh, two things from here one is edge and second is the same thing so let's multiply it with a color color and let's say this is red so I'll connect so let me save and show you again one time more then we will add some edges so this is now red okay so we can change the color now I'll take the sign from here and then after sign I'll take uh, actually power then I'll take a multiplier to boost how much I want and then again I'll multiply with the color and then I will add back on this so because this is faded if I reduce this value like this much sharpness like zero and if I preview the sign it will make edges now with the power I can uh, control this and with the multiply I can boost it so I'll make these parameters so I have the exponent and I have this B uh, default value got inside of one. So now I can increase this and it should be edges, but why if not? Let me show. Let me see. So I'm using power after this and then I'm using multiply uh, and then I multiply with the color and then I'm adding back on it so here's some issue so what I'll do we have this okay so after this I think we have some negative value so I will just make a saturate here and it should fix will not so we will do something else so we have now this thing so what I'll do now we have this faded one and we have this this is actually also very bright but let me make this like point two and then I'm adding back this okay it is there but the size is different so we can use the different uh, this thing if you want so let's say if I take the same thing and I'll just put the same corner size here same sharpness here or maybe you can make the sharpness this too and in the size I will make it a little smaller 6508 and we need to use this here oh, and of course the UVs now we got it and with this sharpness too we can play with this little bit and we have also exponent and I think we can really change the size also if we want I think I will make parameter for the size so what I'll do I'll make this parameter convert size 1 save C and I'll just connect make this parameter size 2 shift c but i just want x and y now we can play with these a lot here so now we have this size one we now we can change it like this much we want this much and i want color to be little faded then i want to increase it maybe this much this much and now we can increase the brightness of edges only and with this parameter I have this full control on it cool so we can make this kind of cool uh, health bar okay we can do a lot of thing here if you want but I think that's it